All right, everybody, we're going to jump in the car and I'm going to give you a drive through of the entrance in Silverleaf and then take you all the way through the cut through of Silverleaf. And then we'll go through some communities as well, just to give you a real life boots on the ground here in February 2021. Now, if you haven't jumped in SilverleafVIP.com, as the community progresses with construction and development, I'm going to be doing updates like this. Our VIP club is going to be the first to access those updates, new releases, new phases, new builder incentives. So be sure you go to that and enjoy the ride. Appreciate you guys. My contact info is below. If you have any questions, just hit me up in text. Now, our orientation right now is actually on the north side of County Road 210. This is where an Earth Fair grocery store was and then Earth Fair as a company closed down. You can see this is a relatively new uh, strip mall. Canopy Road is a great little breakfast joint with pancakes that will blow your mind. And then let's see here. Ember and Iron is like an upscale um, restaurant. There's a yoga studio, uh, a dental care place. And so I'm gonna come out here on St. John's Parkway, turn right, and that's going to actually lead us into the entrance. What will lead into the entrance of Silverleaf. Just to give you some perspective, it's about five o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon. So you get a sense of what traffic is like cruising through here. Now this is County Road 210 intersection. All right, here we go. Crossing County Road 210. If you turn left, that'll take you to the beach. If you turn right, that'll take you to the river. Okay, so right up front, in the front of the entrance of Silverleaf, you have a Walgreens, there's an Ace Hardware store over to my right, there's a Publix grocery store, and then a bunch of, uh, of the typical strip mall stores like uh, an Orange Theory, a Chinese restaurant, dry cleaner, nail salon, your general uh, ones. Now over to the right that we're just passing behind that, that hedge of trees, that's a preschool, a daycare. And now you can see this is turning into more of a master plan feel. The Hudson Company is actually the developer of Silverleaf. There's the Silverleaf sign that shows the list of builders that's in here. And now what I really love is look at the, the extra wide uh, walkway, walk path on the right. That's a 10 foot wide walk path. and a nice little um, long entrance leading into the community that's gonna be slightly set apart from all the retail and commercial that's out front on County Road 210. Now this is interesting, immediately right here to the right, this leads into um, another community called Johns Creek. And that's a community that's about, uh, about 15 years old of resales. Now here is the official entrance monument of Silverleaf to your right. With the uh, lighthouse look tower and a nice big bold Silverleaf, it's really pretty. And we already see construction happening on the left. And so for this video, we're actually gonna do just the, the, a drive through the main, main drag through Silverleaf. And this is called St. John's Parkway. All the villages and all the sub-communities are going to be shooting off of St. John's Parkway. 
There was a sign about the one of the clubhouses and pool areas. I've shot a video about that amenity center, which is almost being finished. So you definitely want to make sure you check out that video. We're about to pass a DR Horton townhome community on the right. It's coming soon. And that infrastructure and the land is just now being developed. I'm actually really interested in scooping up one of those townhomes for myself. So yeah, I mean, Silverleaf is going to have 12,000 families uh, right now. They're projected three different clubhouses with pools. There's dog parks, there's regular parks set aside, a lot of walking paths, nature paths, it's golf cart friendly. I mean, it's going to be a bustling community. There's three sections that the builder has set aside and given St. John's County the option to build future schools on. There's also going to be small retail in here. So over to the left, that's one entrance of Silverleaf Village. That's where the majority of the construction and, and first phase and build out is happening. You have builders like Riverside Homes, Ashley Homes, DR Horton in the form of Emerald Homes, uh, Mastercraft, a wonderful builder, and then also Dreamfinders Homes. That section over to the left is gonna be, ah, I wanna say it's the second phase, but it's going to be the neighboring community of Silverleaf Village, and that's called Hartford. Those lots over there in Silverleaf Village in Hartford are going to be 43 foot wide home sites, 53s and 63s. And if you can imagine, I mean, all of these, you see the infrastructure with these side roads that lead to nowhere. For, for example, this one immediately here to the right, it's just a side road leading to nowhere. That's going to be future communities and villages. You know, such a key part of new construction development is being the first whenever they release new phases and new home sites. Because when it all comes down to it, there's a lot of the same floor plans by the same builders. The key differentiator with new construction is the value of your lot. Like how nice and beautiful is your lot? Is it on a cul-de-sac? This is a backup to some beautiful nature preserve that's very private. Okay, so check this out. Right now, in the future, this will continue on and go straight through. But for now, it's forcing us to turn right on Silverleaf Parkway. I'm gonna show you where this empties out on. But yeah, if you want to be in the know with the announcements that real estate agents have first access to through the builders, go to silverleafvip.com. That's where you'll join our VIP list to be the first to find out about announcements, new phases, new lots, new builders, and new incentives. This is such a big project and it's really exciting. Two things that really set Silverleaf apart from the pack is number one, there are no CDD fees. That's really special because the majority of our master plan communities here in Northeast Florida have CDD fees. It's just, it's just the nature of the beast. Silverleaf does not have CDD fees. The second thing is the proximity and the location of this community. It's in the path of progress in the heart of North St. Johns County, which has got some of the best public school systems in the state of Florida. You're within 20 minutes to the beach. You're within 25 minutes to St. Augustine, which is beautiful historic downtown St. Augustine. And you're also within 10 to 15 minutes to the St. Johns River. You have growing retail, growing business, growing development all around. 
you can see here over, over to the left, I mean, where they're clearing the space, clearing the, the land, preparing the lots, putting in the utilities. And we are coming up to a key roundabout, and then I'll show you where this is going to empty out. We've also created a new construction course, and within this free course, it goes into the top five buyer mistakes families make through new construction and how to avoid those. We also have a closing cost worksheet, so you can see ex real life examples of people's closing costs through new construction that actually catch people off guard. There's a relocation guide, there's a welcome to Florida catalog. And then also, if you need to sell your home in order to buy, I have the top five selling tips to help you sell your home for the highest price possible. Okay, so here we are, check this out. This is State Road 16. That also turns into County Road 16. If you turn left, it's gonna take you to World Golf Village. If you turn right, that's going to take you to the river and back to 210. If you go straight, it's gonna take you to the river. This is really kind of like a triangle between St. John's Parkway, Longleaf Parkway, and County Road 16, where there's so much growth and development and excitement. Now, looking at it right now, you're like, Josh, it looks like just a bunch of open cow fields and, and pine trees and woods, and that is true, but just trust me, in two to five years, up to seven to 10 years, this is all going to be built out. All right, so I hope this helps. I'm gonna circle back and go back in there and give you two specific tours. One tour of Silverleaf Village and then the other one of um, the new community, Hartford. And plus I'll, I'll drive through the townhomes as well. So um, you guys can check out silverleafvip.com. Uh, Hit me up with a text if you have any questions. I'm here for you. And uh, remember, we're in this together. I'm here to help you out. Appreciate you. Take care.